Hey guys, it felt awesome to get back in the cockpit of the F-14A Tomcat on this experimental mission to create a large multiplayer air-to-air -air focus scenario, complete with jets standing ready alert on the tarmac. And once again, a huge shout out to the digital controllers. They help make these missions far more fun and immersive. And another huge shout out to Fox 3 Managed Solutions for the servers that make these large missions possible. Thanks a ton, guys. The colonel smiled as he gently touched down at H3 Main airfield. And as he turned off the runway, he saw numerous other aircraft in the dispersal areas and EORs as they slowly trickled in from the night's mission. As ground crewmen, both Daimari and American directed aircraft into open spots, shelters, and revetments. There was no longer any way to tell what squadron owned what piece of turf on the field, as American A-10s intermixed with Strike Eagles, or as they were now known, Dakil or Intruder, intermixed with wayward F-16s, Mirages, and Thunders, intermixed again with American and Daimari Marine Corps F-A-18s and many other types. This last effort was the stroke that finally broke the camel's back. Aircrew extracted themselves from their cockpits, with some needing assistance from their crew chiefs or plane captains, and some collapsed next to their nose wheel. The tempo of operations absolutely exhausting the aircrew at this remote desert outpost further from any piece of civilization than any other place within the vast stretches of open desert in the kingdom of Daimar. The colonel slumped over in the cockpit of his duck heel, resting the forehead of his helmet on the instrument panel just to the right of the UFC. And after a few minutes, he mustered the strength to climb from the cockpit. And as his boots hit the deck, he grabbed a young American corpsman and yelled over the noise of taxiing aircraft to get the pilots into tents and shelter as soon as possible. Tired and fatigued pilots were one thing, but frozen, sandblasted pilots from the rain and gale force winds deep in the Badia was something entirely different. Across H3 and every other base, Ground crew grabbed, dragged, or otherwise escorted pilots into whatever shelters were available to get them some rest and out of the elements. Tent cities, hardened aircraft shelters, base enlisted and officers housing, whatever was available. Intel officers and flight leads canceled debriefings, and intel types ran across the various bases trying to extract information from the dead tired pilots, as others counted aircraft and accounted for losses by checking off lists of tail and nose numbers. A job made much harder by all of the emergency diversions tonight. The colonel slowly limped his way to the operations room, unafraid of his pilot seeing him in such a state. As it showed them, he was with them, at the tip of the spear, undertaking the same hardships as them and celebrating the same triumphs. As he neared the door to the ops room, his flight gear soaked from the lashing desert rain, he finally got a laugh as an intel officer, clearly not a pilot, trying to gather as much information as possible, barged into a women's shower hooch to interview the three pilots inside, only to be greeted with screams curses and thrown projectiles, and retreated, looking rather proud of himself, giving the laughing colonel a crisp salute as the rain fell all around them. The colonel, trying to muster a serious sounding voice, saluted back crisply, and said, carry on, you're just doing your job, as his voice broke with laughter. Once in the ops room, the colonel was immediately assaulted by the intel officers who had otherwise successfully interviewed their pilots and eagerly presented their findings. 
the low level strikes from the strike eagles or now duck heels were absolutely flawless every airfield in the heart of the empire of Peron, with a runway longer than 9,000 feet were successfully cratered while these may have been easy to repair it will take time and the objective of scrubbing the Russian Air Force's air bridge was a complete success. A number of Isle 76s diverted to Encerlik, the capital of the Empire of Peron, but many more flew back to the Russian Federation along with their cargo of much needed supplies. With three noted as having crashed into the Black Sea after fuel starvation, the perfect way to kill Russians without even firing a shot at them. These successes were cut and dry, but the main topic of interest among the intel types was the large furball over the city of Jura, in the very heartland of the Empire of Peron. It was quickly becoming clear that the Islamic Emirates of Persia Air Force had finally sortied in mass to challenge the coalition's air superiority. With reports of IEPAF F-16s, F-15s, and F-4s filling the sky. After gathering as much information as possible, the colonel joined a call with the Shah of Daimar as he sat listening to his own intelligence personnel at Tel Nof Air Force Base and relayed to the Shah the success of the operation and the consternation about what was quickly becoming known as the Battle of Jura, and what that would mean going forward as the war was expanding yet again. After several minutes, the Colonel breathed a sigh of relief as he received authorization from the Shah and the generals for what was needed most in his opinion an operational pause for the squadrons along the northern front, now that the front line was stabilized and the key Palmyra oil fields retaken. The colonel knew that his pilots and aircrew, Daimari and American, needed time to rest and recuperate, while the ground crews performed much needed deferred maintenance on very tired aircraft and yet to be expended ordnance especially as the failure rates of AMRAMs, Sparrows, and Sidewinders, along with all manner of GBUs, continued to climb. Word of the Battle of Jura spread like wildfire across the Royal Daimar Air Force, and across the Great Sand Sea to the heart of a small nation of the Commonwealth of the Trucial Coast. There, members of the Shadowy's 1st Special Operations Squadron were already hard at work crafting the plan for their opening move, now that the phony war in the Gulf had finally turned hot. Leaders of the 1st SOS and Trucial Coast Air Force knew that air power was already spread thin, and there was little hope of reinforcements for the foreseeable future and the only way forward was to degrade the IEPAF strength in the region as much as possible before additional squadrons and air wings could be sent to the Gulf. For the emirs of the tiny nation of the Trucial Coast, it was of paramount importance to ensure their small air arm be at the tip of the spear to prevent the closure of the Strait of Hormuz and the economic strangulation of their kingdom but even more importantly, to stave off the ever-present threat of annexation by their ally, the Shah. It would be no easy task. The Islamic Emirates of Persia Air Force inherited the strength of the pre-revolution Emirates of Persia Air Force and were one of the largest operators of F-15A through Ds, F-16A and Bs, and F-4Es in the world and were once some of the best trained pilots in any era. Many of the IEPAF pilots knew the first SOS and TCAF airmen on a first name basis from many years of peacetime interceptions, tussling maneuvers over the Gulf, and parties along the Musandam Peninsula as they tried to escape the stifling social rules of the Islamic government 
by crossing the strait on ferries on the weekends. The plan was simple, with inspiration coming from both sides of the Vietnam War, for an aerial ambush over the gleaming blue waters of the Gulf and Strait of Hormuz. Since the start of hostilities in the north, Trucial Coast Air Force AV-8B Harrier pilots have been patrolling the strait and using their lightning targeting pods to provide ISR on Islamic Emirates naval, air, and ground units, and lulling IEPAF radar operators into a state of complacency, which accounted for part of the success of the highly classified operation against the MV Salhad two nights ago. Today's ISR flight, carrying the call sign Snow White 1, would in actuality be a flight of fully armed TCAF AV-8Bs serving as the bait and hopefully draw an intercept attempt now that the IEPAF's ROE has shifted. These interceptors will be ambushed by TCAF Mirage F1s and first SOS F-16s flying low over the Gulf and directed by AIC to pop up and ambush the interceptors in what has been dubbed the giraffe tactic. After the interceptors have been downed, Snow White Flight will accomplish their strike mission, sinking the bulk of the Islamic Emirates of Persia's naval vessels in port, or at least that was the plan. As the Daimari, Trucial, American, British, South African and Australian pilots of the shadowy first SOS and TCAF walked to their ancient and heavily modified hand-me-down aircraft, the Shah called the first SOS's main hangar at Sasa on the keel. An older South African pilot answered the phone, mistakenly speaking in Afrikaans, to the Shah before he could swap his mind back to Arabic or at least English to speak to the leader of his adopted nation. The Shah simply laughed, knowing the first SOS uses this unique language as a form of code over the radios in their older aircraft that lack the modern encryption systems such as Havquick. The Shah simply said, you know why I'm calling? And the first SOS pilot simply replied, yes sir, we're on it. And the pilot grabbed his helmet, an older style HGU-33, and walked towards the hangar doors and his F-14A Tomcat, sitting on the ramp. A beautiful jet who was getting up there in her years, but a far cry from the F-1s and cheetahs he used to fly in his homeland. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I could get your attention up here, please. We need to roll right into this briefing. We are short on time as usual. And I know it's been a very busy couple of nights for the first SOS as well as the Trucial Coast Air Force, uh, but uh, early this morning is going to be no different, unfortunately. I know that uh, lots of you have heard of the rumors of the Battle of Jura. These rumors have now been substantiated, and it looks as if the IEPAF have sortied in mass to contest the air superiority of the coalition over the Empire of Paran. Now, this has changed the calculus for us. It appears that we're no longer in a covert kind of phony war, but it looks like we're going to find ourselves in a very hot war here very shortly. As a result, we need to kind of put our best foot forward here and attempt to degrade the IEPAF as quickly as possible due to their numerical and technological advantage over us here in the TCAF and first SOS. Now, we are in luck because we have a pretty simple plan here that we believe is going to lead to quite the ambush over the Strait of Hormuz. The emirs of the Trucial Coast have been a bit jittery as of late because they are worried about uh, economic strangulation in case the Strait of Hormuz is closed, as well as the other threat of potentially being annexed by their erstwhile ally, the Shah of Daimar. Now, as a result of this, the TCAF has been flying ISR flights regularly over the Strait of Hormuz ever since the start of hostilities in the north. These ISR flights have lulled the IEPAF radar controllers into a bit of complacency, and this was partially uh, a factor in the success of the very covert operation against the MV Salhad a couple of nights ago. 
Now, to, th to this morning's ISR flight, call sign Snow White 1 is instead of being a unarmed ISR flight, is going to be a fully armed uh, two ship of AV-8B Harrier 2s uh, on a strike mission to hit the Havadaria port. Now this flight is going to be used as bait to lure the standing cap of IPAF jets over Bandar Abbas and Lar airfields into an interception attempt. And then ideally we're going to intercept the interceptors and shoot them down over the Strait of Hormuz. Now to further lull the IEPAF radar controllers, we're going to have a standing F-14 cap over the Musandam Peninsula. This will be provided by the first SOS and I will be leading that flight today. So that is kind of a general overview. We can see that the strike will be ingressing on the eastern side of the Musandam Peninsula. They'll be hooking a left-hand turn and then exfilling along the western side of the Musandam Peninsula, really trying to mimic that uh, flight path of the ISR flights. The primary objective is shooting down IPAF aircraft. The secondary objective is carrying out the strike mission. In a five minute interval but behind Snow White 1 is going to be a flight of first SOS F-16s that are going to be loaded up with bombs as well and they are going to be flying with their radars turned off attempting to mimic a AV-8 ISR flight to further lull the IPAF uh, controllers into a state of complacency. These aircraft will act up, act as a close-in backup for the AV-8s in case they do get jumped a little quicker than we thought they would be, and so they'll be able to jettison their bombs and defend the Harriers with their sidewinders. So let's go ahead and move on here. Next slide, please. We also have Huntsman 1 flight is going to be a flight of AH-64D Apaches that are going to take off from Kassab International Airport, and they're main objective is going to be hitting Kesham Island airfield and taking out the SA-2 site there. That SA-2 site is going to be very near the ideal ambush point off the Musandam Peninsula in the Strait of Hormuz and that SA-2 site could potentially interfere with our own aircraft that are going to be on hot alert and scrambling from Kassab International Airport to hit those standing cap flights once they tried to intercept our Snow White 1 flight. As you can see here, guys, uh, for our Huntsman 1 pilots, we have some AAA danger areas around Larak Island, Hormuz, Havadaria, Bandar Abbas, and of course around your target area as well. This map here shows our uh, ideal ambush point just off the very tip of the Musandam Peninsula. This slide here was made for the very first draft of the plan, so the intercept hold point is kind of scratched off for the actual plan, guys. The intercept flights are going to be put at hot alert pre-positioned at Kassab International Airport. That's going to be a flight of TCAF Mirage F1s and a flight of first SOS F-16As at Kassab International Airport. It's very, very important politically that the TCAF Mirage F1s get into the fight quickly and hopefully down a couple of IEPAF aircraft in order to further the emirs of the Trucial Coast's political objectives. Now, next slide please. For you, the AICs in the briefing today, basically we have a controller playbook here. We've got our METAR here with our weather. Bullseye is going to be Kassab International Airport. We have a takeoff order as well as our AIC assignments. The strike aircraft of Doc, uh, Doc 2, Snow White 1, as well as the cap flight Happy 8, and the hot alert jets at Kassab International Airport are going to be assigned to Red Crown. We're also going to have some five minute alert jets stationed at Alman Hod Air Force Base that are going to be ready for launch in case a large air battle develops over the Strait of Hormuz if the IEPAF scrambles more aircraft to come up and a rolling air battle starts to develop. Those aircraft will be assigned to AIC Warning Star and other aircraft pushed to Warning Star as required by Red Crown in order to clear up the airwaves for the best possible communication for any uh, BVR timelines that start to develop. The air-to-air -air plan today is going to be to launch the aircraft in takeoff order and allow for a five minute interval between Snow White 1 and Dog 2. If interception of Snow White is attempted by IEPAF cat flights, 
The Red Crown AIC will vector its Snow White to drag the interceptors into the ideal ambush position. Once the IUPAF standing cap flights are heading towards that ideal ambush position, Red Crown will launch the Hot Alert aircraft to ambush the IPAF cap flights over the Strait of Hormuz. Red Crown will also commit Happy 8, the cap flight of F-14s, if required. Warning Star will launch the Alert 5 jets if additional IEPAF aircraft are scrambled to join the air battle. And we want to attempt to contain the air battle over the Strait of Hormuz to prevent TCAF or first SOS aircraft from trespassing too deep into the Islamic Emirates of Persia due to a number of high-level SAMs that are further inland protecting the Shiraz and Jaraft area. Next slide, please. All right, for our mission lineup card here, of course, you're gonna see your call sign as well as the aircraft you're assigned to, the service of that aircraft and the mission assigned to you. Of course, there has been some intermixing of airframes between the first SOS and the TCAF, so make sure you pay attention to this card and definitely check the tail number of your aircraft before you hop on in and shake your uh, uh, crew chief's hand. For the mission intel today, ROE, Weapons free against all hostile aircraft. Flight into the IEP is permitted. There is of course a standing cap over Bandar Abbas and Lar Airfield and they are the primary targets for our ambush. However, do keep in mind that MiG-29s, F-4s, F-16s, F-15s and F-5s are on 5 minute alert at Shiraz Air Base, Bandar Abbas International and Kish Island International as well. One thing we have, do have going for us today is the SAM threat over the Gulf Islands is significantly reduced due to the deed effort from our AH-64D pilots as well as the execution of air defense officers following the sinking of the MV Salhat. AAA and small arms fire over the Gulf Islands are still a major threat so watch out for that. SA-2, IHOC, and SA-6 batteries are still active around Bandar Abbas, Kesham Island, and Bandar e Jask. And that's why the SA-2 site is the primary target of Huntsman 1 at Kesham Island Airfield. Next slide. Departure procedures. Uh, for all departure procedures, expect uh, the tower controller to give you radar vectors on course. For arrival procedures, your arrival will be assigned via coastal control and expect radar vectors to some sort of an approach. For approach procedures, these will also be assigned by coastal control. Expect an ILS if a sandstorm kicks up uh, or any kind of uh, visual reduction in the visibility uh, or expect a visual to an overhead pattern if the weather stays good. Next slide. Weather report. Uh, right before we started the briefing here, the last weather, re weather report, as of 0553 local, wind was 2008 at 10 statute miles plus visibility. Uh, temperature was 30 degrees Celsius, rather hot out there, with a dew point of negative 5. So don't expect any uh, visible precipitation or moisture, and uh, expect a longer takeoff roll due to how hot it is. Altimeter setting is 2989. -er Runways in use today are going to be at runway 34 at Sas Al Nakheel. Amman Had Air Force Base is going to be runway 27. And Kassab will have runways 1 and 19 are active as well. So if you are landing at Kassab, ensure that uh, you are definitely in contact with the tower controller because you may have aircraft taking off into your face or landing into your face. Next slide. All right. On to the package playbook, we have a number of code words for today. Beach Resort is going to be Bandits Launching from Bandar Abbas, Paradise Atoll, Bandits Launching from Kish Island, Ski Town, Bandits Launching from Shiraz, and Eastern Pole, Bandits Coming from Giraffed Air Base. The code word Tennis Court is going to be the launch code word for the Alert 5 F-15s at Almond Hob. Beehive, launch the Alert 5 F-A-18s. Snake Snare, launch the Alert 5 F-16s. Giraffe is going to be the co uh, code word to launch the Hot Alert F-16s and Mirage F-1s. For the Hot Alert pilots, you guys are going to need to be lined up on the runway, ready to go, to be rolling down the runway immediately after that code word is called. For the playbook itself, 
Huntsman Flight, uh, you guys know what you're doing. You're just going to launch and execute your mission as planned. Recommend for the uh, ATC controllers to just tell Huntsmen to take off at their own risk and just head off and do their own thing. Uh, the F-14 Cap Flight that I'll be leading will t uh, launch and take up Cap Station between waypoints 2 and 3 at a uh, block between 250 and 290. We'll be flying max fuel conserve in case we are needed to enter the fray today. Snow White and Dock Flights will launch and proceed on course in 5 minute intervals to of course mimic ISR flights over the Strait of Hormuz. Three. Hot alert flights will start up and be ready for immediate launch on the giraffe code word. AIC vectors hot uh, jets to ambush IEPAF cap flights if they attempt to intercept. And five, strike flights will execute the strike mission if able. Keep in mind, the primary target is the IEPAF aircraft. The secondary target is the strike targets. Bomb jettison and strike mission abort is authorized. Uh, it is not acceptable to have any of our Harriers shot down unnecessarily today. For our communications, primary radio is going to be set to the proper frequency for the mission comms flow plan. AUX is going to be the interflight frequency for the roll call page. Little change in our SOP today, uh, the Taxi 2 Snoopy is going to be on button 1253.0 as well as our ground ops frequency. So once you get into your aircraft, if you need to contact ground ops, you are going to also be chatting on the same frequency that the Taxi 2 or Snoopy is going to be on as well. Then change again is going to be button 7255.5 is going to be warning stars uh, frequency as well. Um, so ensure you'll be brought over to and switched over to the correct frequency by the controller team. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just ensure that you, get, if you're a flight lead, get your uh, flight members onto the correct frequency in order to be as efficient as possible. Due to the dangerous air-to-air -air situation today, we do not have any tankers up in the air. Um, we only have E3s up in the air in order to provide AIC coverage. There are no tankers, so if you do run low on gas, recommend uh, diverting to either Kasab International or Ras Al Kamaya Airfield. For our DAD playbook today, you guys are going to launch from Kinsab and proceed immediately on course. Remain below 200 feet on ingress in order to avoid any radar detection. Attack and destroy the SA-2 shore route and AAA at Kesham Island Airfield. Secondary targets, if you guys aren't Winchester by the time the SA-2 is taken out, are going to be aircraft, vehicles, and other targets of opportunity on the airfield. And we are going to egress on shotgun once you guys take out that SA-2. Strike playbook. Of course, you're going to take off and proceed at five minute intervals. Dock 2 is going to ingress with their radar off to mimic TCAF AV8s. Coordinate the AIC to pull any interceptors into an ambush by Grumpy and Sleepy Flights. So it's going to be our hot aircraft uh, pre stage at Kasab International. The primary objective is going to be the engagement of enemy aircraft and the survival of our Harriers. Secondary objective is going to be attacking the naval units and infrastructure within Hava Daria Harbor. You're also going to egress on shotgun. We can see we have another uh, number of DPIs for you guys to choose from on your attack runs. We've got a number of frigate berthings in the harbor at Hava Daria, as well as a submarine pen and fast attack craft. For our F-16s, if you guys do not end up jettisoning your bombs to provide backup and escort to Snow White flight, I uh, recommend hitting the larger targets, the fast attack craft berthings and the frigate berthings, as those are going to be much easier to hit with your Mark 82s in CCIP. The good thing is the harbor is relatively shallow, so even if you make a near miss near the uh, ships, your Mark 82s will explode on the uh, bottom of the harbor and your shockwave will pretty much rip apart any ships that are in the immediate vicinity. Next slide. Cap playbook, this is going to be my flight today. Uh, pretty simple for uh, me and my wingman. We're just going to launch and uh, proceed directly to the cap station. We're going to hold at the cap point between waypoints 2 and 3 with the left-hand turns at 40 nautical mile legs. Uh, we're probably going to end up setting up a grinder, so that way we all have a always have a flight that is hot with their radar pointed north into the Islamic Emirates of Persia. 
We'll provide overwatch of the interception and a backstop for any squirters, and we'll egress on Winchester or Bingo Fuel as required. We'll most likely end up, if we do get engaged in a fight, end up at Kasab International Airport due fuel or weapon status. Next slide. Hot alert playbook. You guys are going to start up after Snow White Flight is airborne and be ready for an immediate launch on the code word Giraffe. On launch, you'll be swapped over to uh, Red Crown for Vector to Bandits over the Strait of Hormuz. Land and rearm and refuel on Winchester if required. Launch for secondary sorties at Red Crown's discussion. Uh, discretion, I should say. Next slide. For the five minute alert playbook, provide five minute alert coverage for potential developing air battle over the Strait of Hormuz. Launch on code word Snake Snare Beehive or Tennis Court within five minutes of the call of that code word. Immediately on launch, check in with Warning Star for vectors to bandits or a potential cap station as a backstop or a uh, 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 reinforcement. Egress on Bingo or Winchester. Last card here is going to be our navigational overview. Of course, our bullseye is Kasab International Airport, uh, so make sure you guys are aware of what your waypoints loaded into your INS are going to be today. The hot alert and five minute alert do not have a, a flight plan set up as much as a geographical orientation flight plan set up with points at Kasab, Bandar Abbas, and Greater Tomb Island for a little bit of situational awareness once you get up into the air and start getting vectored around by the AICs. For lost comms procedures, if you do find yourself Nordo due to battle damage, aircraft uh, failure, or SRS failure, uh, do not take off. If you're airborne, the Lost Comms Divert Field is going to be all Ein International Airport. Next slide. Okay, that's it. All right, uh, let's go with uh, some uh, questions from flight leads and flight leads only. If we are good to go, make sure you guys step out to your aircraft. And uh, again, like I said, make sure you're checking the tail numbers of your aircraft to ensure you are getting into the correct airframe. All right, guys, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go do it. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Uh, Al Cahio ground. This is Happy Flight checking in. Happy Flight ground. Got you five by five. Okay. Cool. Roger. Alignment failure. Wow. Check again. Is that due to the VDI? Uh, standby. 24261. Sure. Uh, 24310. Roger, one's working on it. Four, Ranger. Yeah, everything's right. We'll just uh, see if this works this time. Sounds good. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. I wonder if somehow random failures got turned on in this mission. Oh, we Could be. Snow White one one. Got a TV camera there, and now I've got no frame rates with that TV Snow camera. Snow White one one. Not sure ground. Three. Three. Five, five, five. Uh, let me switch that off. That's bizarre. Uh, the VDI is back. Yeah. Okay. EDI is back. It's interesting. It looks like the alignment's doing okay this time. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I'm looking around and turning everything on. I don't notice the screen's gone to a failure. Uh, you still got your wheel on. Okay. I wonder if you plug in too many waypoints at once it uh, crashes the computer. It might. Might be worth it. I don't to know let if it, it renders that, but might be worth it to let it run and then. Uh... Yeah. Uh. Ooh. 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 
Looks good. I mean, we're on emergency takeoff, so. Yep. Emergency Give me takeoff. That diamond. Oh, yep. There we go. We got it. Roger. Happy eight one green jet. Uh, I'll call it for taxi. I got it. You, Roger. Two. Happy 8-2, go ahead and lead us out. Happy 8-2, happy to lead you out. Uh, seat and oxygen check. Seat checks, oxygen, checks. Okay. Doing all of my last minute checks in the back here. Similar 2987. 8-7, Roger, thank you for that. The only thing I can think of with the SRS is that it was a bug with, uh, this is my first Windows 11 mission, so, who knows. Oh, oh god, probably. Two is, uh, holding short. I, uh, I, w I refuse to make that upgrade. It is, line up and wait, sir. I'm not here, check the text, I'm checking in. Line up and wait. I've got two, so two is taking the right side. Roger. Switch tower. Flight switch tower. Alright, 
Flight 2, keep us on runway heading. What was our, uh... Two. What was our altitude we're climbing to again? Uh, we came in halfway through the transmission. Let's climb 4,000. Roger. Happy A flight, clear the active. Uh, requesting altitude again. Uh, Happy A flight up to 5,000, I'll switch you, uh, coastal control. Up to 5,000, runway heading, switching to coastal control. Happy A flight. Okay. Flight switch taxi to Snoopy 253. Did he switch us? Did he switch our frequency? Yeah, he switched. He said up to 5,000, switch coastal control, he said. Ah, uh, okay. Roger. Sorry, Slide, that was coastal control 233.5. 233.5. Two? That's uh, pretty something. Coastal Control, good morning. This is Happy A Flight out of uh, Al Cahill uh, for Waypoint 2 for CAP. Happy 8 Flight, Coastal Control, good day. Uh, own navigation, no ATC altitude restriction. Own navigation, no altitude for Happy A Flight. Two. Let's go come right to steer point two. Two. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm off my game a sec, sorry. Yeah, no worries, I'm a little off my game as well. It was a weird, some weirdness for, there. For, uh, four startups throws me off. Yeah. Throws anyone off. Where did two go? Shit. Uh... Stop our right. Right uh, claim flight level 250 for happy 8 flight. Uh, right. 250 for happy 8 flight. Copy 8 flight, contact red crown, button 8. Uh, bye bye. Straight to red crown, have a good day. Flight 2, button 8, red crown. 2. What's your speed? trying to get back into formation with two here. Happy 8-1, continue checking. What does he want? We got no alibis. Continue checking, he said. Roger. Here, I'll, I'll take it for a sec. Okay, go on. Red Crown, Happy 8-1 actual, uh, what did you need? Happy 8-1, say state, weapons, fuel. Oh, I, I got that, I got that. Roger. Happy 8-1, we are state 18-2, uh, 
Formation uh, 8 2, what's your uh, speed? 2 is speed reference uh, 300. Ground, this is Huntsman 2, slide of 4 patch, okay. checking in as rec. Uh, 3,000 feet to 1,000 feet per minute. Huntsman 2, red ground, bottom clear, okay. radar contact. Switch ultimate edge to 299 2. Roger. Nines and twos are set. Red Crown, Buck 2, single flight at 16, checking in. Buck 2, Red Crown, ident. Here it comes. <laughs> oh shit, that's Sam. Dive. <laughs> Two is throttling back to 10,000 pound of fuel flow, try to maintain three up at three point. Doc two, red crown, bottom clear, radar contact, alpha check, bullseye, two, two, five, one hundred, thirty-three. Good right check. Good, one hundred thirty. See, we couldn't have gone on without this beautiful sunrise. Doc 2, flow 073 for 130. Angels, 23. Into my floodlights. Yeah, the Tomcat seems to be behaving well now. Oh, yeah. He's a climbing Zero seven zero for one hundred forty. Zero seven zero one hundred forty. Climbing to Angel Country. Doctor. Happy eight flight. This is one. We're gonna set up a grinder at the cap station. So uh, three and four. I'll have you orbit uh, the first point in the cap station, and then we'll tell you when to start heading north towards the second point. Happy eight. And Set orbit. Uh, waypoint two, two. Waypoint three. Report established. Two, I'll have you just continue on towards the second point in the cap station. I'll just between waypoint two, waypoint three, for happy eight flight. Two. With the second point of the cap, you be in three, right? A firm.
Hi, flight check in, button 8. Snow White, Red Crown, live clear, radar contact, Alpha check, Bullseye, 219 108. Alright. Ready to in? A firm. Happy 8th flight, Fenson. 2. 1, Fenson, state 17 2. Fenson, 17 5, taxi. Green Fenson, 17 2. Check light. Copy. There you go. Roger. Thank you. Snow White. Alpha check. Bullseye. Four, two, one, eight, one, eight, one hundred four, one. Snow White. Rick Ram. Good off check. Two is uh, leveling off and turning for still point three now. Three and four. Check your lights and you're cleared off. Snow White one. Flow zero seven zero for one hundred ten. Climb maintain. Angels twenty one. 070 for 110 angels, 21. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and make a, uh, we're going to do a right hand here. Four. Can you check in with Red Crown and let him know that we are established in the cap and we're setting up a grinder? Yeah, we'll do. Red Crown, happy 8 flight. Established on the cap station. Setting up the grinder now. Between waypoint 2 and waypoint 3. Happy 8, Red Crown, copies all. Set block, Angels 25, 29. Block 2529 for happy age life. Do you want to go up or do you want to stay 25? Uh, one to the two, I'm going to reduce to 250. Copy that too. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it up to about uh, Angels 28. Up to 28. Got nails at fifteens. Uh, one to three and four. We got block twenty five to twenty nine. If you want to increase altitude, we're going up to twenty eight. Three copy. I can nails. Two, I'm sliding underneath you here to uh, get up onto your. You're railway. stepping on someone. You're stepping on someone. You're stepping on someone. Twenty eight. Blocked. One for three. Repeat. You're stepped on. I was saying it might be a good idea if we go to twenty five. You go to twenty eight. Then we're covered. Do you want to repeat your transmission again? Yeah. Two, one's over on your right wing now. Two, two, two. Uh, uh, one thousand feet per minute, uh, about two fifty. One, uh, do you want to see if we can get some data link going? Uh, we should have it. Let me try. Got traffic on the nose. Go to seven. Uh, yeah, we have data link. You can see there. We're getting data link contact. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. What we uh, see is what we see. Three, correct me if I'm wrong. Should we? Never mind. Uh, away, my last. One.
I'm going to make myself a drink. I'll be right back. Roger. Roger that. I'm getting jamming. Two is uh, turning back, uh, 30 degrees back left side. One, three, four, you're cleared to head north. Three. Four, coming left. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some jamming. You getting some strobes out there? Yep. Well, so far I haven't noticed anything bad with the servers, so fingers crossed. Nope. Plenty of fire count right also. Do you have any idea off of the data link where the uh, Snow White flight is? Uh, I asked uh, Looks to be that grouping just south of us there, of, like three contacts. Angels 20. Roger. Still on the one, one, three, or four, and hot. That's ground, this is step two, requesting uh, altitude change to angels 25. Back to you, back to the road light. Maintain angels 25. Copy that, step two, climbing and maintain 25 angels. I maintain Angels 23. Angels 23, Snow White 11. Alright, happy 8281 is going to retake the lead. I 
15 nails and 4 nails. Two loops. There we go. Bullseye. 3, 2, 2. 125. 20,000. Got Southeast. Hostile. Phantom. Heavy. 4 contacts. Group. Bullseye. 3, 5, 2. 123. 20,000. Track. Southeast. Hostile. Heavy. Eagle. 4 contacts. Nasty. That's for sure. Two, we've got traffic AWACS on our nose. Hi. Two zero. Slight right. Two. I will say the first SOS paint job on the F fourteen is pretty cool. Yeah. What's our current steer point we've got selected? Saying 82 miles? Uh, yep, that's waypoint 2. Roger. But it shouldn't be 82 miles away. Our steer point 2 should be... pretty close, actually. Because our cap station's only 40 nautical miles long. Uh, stand by, I might have plugged it in wrong. No problem. Uh, just uh, setting something up in the back. Uh, no problem. I'll just plot it on my e board here for a sec. Yeah. Flight Happy 3 and 4 turning cold. Happy 8 1s turn in hot. it again. I uh, don't know what to tell you. That's odd. Let me look at the uh, nav. 24473 by 55392. That's weird. Well, I guess we'll just eyeball it. That's totally fine. What about uh, yeah. steer point 3? What do we got there? Uh, steer point 3, I have... Let me check. Uh, two five two five three by five 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 six two. Yeah, still correct. 
Can you select uh, waypoint three? Uh, yeah, there you go. That's weird. How about waypoint four? That because that looks like it's, that's waypoint three you have selected currently. Uh, yeah. Uh, waypoint four. Let me check the. Hang on. The default map it gives us. Roger. Oh, okay. Okay, the waypoints are not matching the flow plan I've got, so that would be why. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's all good. Okay, uh, stand by. So, three is actually two. Right, give me one second, I'll plug this in again. Yeah, no worries. Big time. One and two are hot. Doctor One, flow three, four, zero. Doctor One, three, four, zero. Snow White One, flow three, four, five. Okay, three, four, five. Snow White One, one. Uh. That should now be correct. Two six one six. All right, you should have it back Doctor now. Doctor one, altitude correctly. restrictions canceled. Break break. Snow White one, altitude restrictions canceled. Roger. Is this currently? What do we have now? This is currently. Uh, hang on, hang on. Two six one zero zero. That's waypoint four. That's weird, because waypoint three should now be. Should be, uh, should be on our nose for roughly 20 nautical miles. Yeah, that should be Kasab. Now waypoints. Which the other one should be. What's that giving? 48 miles. Yeah. I can just eyeball it. I know where we are. It's not a problem. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. Was our initial. Um, our initial uh, alignment off? Shouldn't be. Maybe sh own AC. I mean, if I can, I can realign if I can get attack out, but let's have a look. All of our weapons seem to be good to go, so I'm not, I don't think that's a, too big of an issue. 261, oh dear, that might actually be out of alignment. We seem to be misaligned. Okay. Well, I think we're still good to Not go sure for that weapons happened. deployment. Uh, hang on. Let me put up my old handy dandy tack realignment chart. Two, what's your current heading? Two is heading uh, zero, zero, 005. Copy that. Alright, we got a good heading, so I'm fine with it if you just want to leave it. We can just do use pilotage from here. It's pretty cool. No good. worries. I mean, I, I'm gonna see if I can't find attack at this while we're waiting. I can pl probably plug it in. Roger. Uh, attack hands do I have nearby? Two, go ahead and call our turn. Uh, there you go. Uh, call the turn for one. Copy that, thank you. Picking that up, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm picking that up, brilliant. Beautiful. I think something's about to kick off here, so I don't know if you want to align now or just go go for it yeah i'm going through the uh startup now yep consult
Nails at 15. Yep, to rest there. Turn and go. Got nails, F fifteens, and F fours now. Ignore the waypoint a sec. Sounds good. Oh, wow, we're like 65 miles out. Out of alignment? Yep. Are you going to be able to fix it pretty quick here? Yep, stand by. Roger. Uh, Red Crown, Snow White, 1-1, one, one, picture. Red Crown, two groups. Group Bullseye, 340, 108, 25,000. Track southeast, hostile, heavy, phantom, four contacts. Group Bullseye, 008, 120, 23,000. Track south, hostile, heavy, eagle, four contacts. And we're real up. All right. And what's the currently selected waypoint? Uh, that is currently the uh, Aldafra. Okay. So would you want to? Um, let's get the. You want? Let's get the. Uh, steer point. Uh, steer point two. Okay, steer point two. Okay, that's the southern end of our wagon wheel. That's the southern end right there. Yeah, that's the southern end of the wagon wheel. Alrighty, sounds good. Yep, that's kicked us back in realignment, good. Okay, beautiful. I had to do that, that was actually interesting to do. Yep. We're on our wing level. One and two are wings level, heading south. Should be enough for Phoenix deployment at least. Yeah, hopefully. I think we should be okay now. I mean, the most reliable is uh, what's it called? Lying on the left. Group Bullseye, three four two ninety five thirty three thousand. Track southeast. Hostile. Heavy. Phantom. Four contacts. Group Bullseye zero zero niner one hundred three thirty six thousand. Track south. Hostile. Heavy. Control to field data. Happy A1. What's the plan for launching the hot alert? Happy one, Red Crown. We have scrambled uh, two sets of fighters. Happy A1. Red Crown. 
Two groups. Group Bullseye 343A2, 36,000, track southeast, hostile, heavy, phantom, four contacts. Group Bullseye 01183, 36,000, track south, hostile, heavy, very fast, eagle. I think our alignment's still weird because it's showing us 80 no or 50 nautical miles still from the bottom of our cap station. Doc 2-1, abort south. Uh, okay, uh, Doc 2 one Heading. So we're currently for our steer point two, we're heading. about 21, 20 nautical miles Doc out. Doc 2-1, flow 180. Right, so Doc that one, eight, one shot is trash, okay. Oh, look. One, two, three, four. So waypoint three. Waypoint 3 is the lower half, waypoint 3... Doc 2-1, fly 180, now! Oh, it's budged all our waypoints over with the realignment. Cool. <laughs> Roger that. That's kind of what I was thinking happened. Two, call, go ahead and call there us There you go. Here. Uh, no, stand by. Okay. okay. Snow White 1 1, abort. Fly 180 now. Should now be reset. Copy. Uh, three, this is two. Um, you might have to cut the northern leg a little short in order not to overfly these fire gaps. Doc 2, threat bra, 360, 15, 30,000. Uh, there are triple A guns there on the northern Eagle. part of our cap station. Uh, uh we're not to avoid, to, try to avoid to overfly okay. the fire cam radars. Uh, yeah, it kicked all of our waypoints out of alignment, which is fun. So, something weird though, is our data link is showing many you jets to the to south of us, the like our nose. Uh, there are no jets to the south of us at the moment. Three copies. One, for me. Which would be Overlord. Yeah. Four weird. Yeah, know, but Overlord's just overflowing us, so yeah, that's, that's cool. expected. Oh, Deadling looks to be alright, actually. Alright, maybe it's me then. Uh, because we're turning hot now. Yeah. Uh, can you give us the uh, top steer point now? Yep, there you go. So I That's more what we're expecting, there we go. Interesting, I wonder if we're desynced, because that one's showing 14 no, miles away. Descend to the deck, fly 180. Uh, I'm getting 80 miles in the back. Yeah. Okay. Odd. I wonder if the realignment is desynced. Could be. Just fly for it, it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I'll let you know when we're nose on and then... We're 78 miles. Yeah, I've definitely... Ooh, lots of contact. Yep. Okay. Yep, there's the contacts, I see them now. Yep, uh, you're... Roll out. Nose on, uh, 1 o'clock. Go. One o'clock. Uh, the issue we might have is landing, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about landing. I can just see the runway, you know? Mm hmm. It's a weird desync, though. Very. What's the range scale you're currently on? Uh, we're on 100 miles. Wow. Kick up to 200. There you go, there's the enemies. Up, oh, yep, jamming strobes. See the jamming strobes. Yeah. Just don't see any data yep. line. 
Uh, yeah, we're getting some diddling from the friendly contacts, we're just not getting hostile. Hostile Eagle, three contacts. We're definitely better alignment, you can see there. It seems to be better, for sure. It was a bit of a long range Takan, but because it was the only one I could get, but uh, it's a lot better. Yeah. I think I think we're good for weapon launch at least. I mean as long as I do STT I'll be fine. Sure, five, yeah. four, Fox one leader, leader, 13, Okay. Do we want to form up and push north as one? Potentially. This doesn't kick off. Yeah. Three and four, go ahead and rejoin with one and two. Nashville five four, first thirteen thousand, hostile eagle. Three and four, rejoining. I show you approaching our nine one. Four, you have to wait for blind free, targeted now. One's got you guys in sight, uh, you're clear to rejoin. Bashful 5, weapons hold. Are those, those must be F4s uh, out to the left there, around our 10 o'clock. Red Crow, yeah. Bash 4, 5-4 declared, nose, one mile climbing, come on, The 60 miles. Oh, there we go. Yep, splash from F15. Friendly, friendly F15, so check fire when we get into it. Yep. Uh, hello, are you with the drop team? Happy 8. Oh, yeah, yeah, Do you guys have anything for us? Copy, drop team. Stand by to drop tank. Happy 8, set cap at bullseye. Captain Cold Side, Roger. Dropping tanks. Yep, get rid of them. Two, get rid of the tanks. Two. Alright, two, three, and four. Happy flight. We're gonna be push north towards uh, Kassab Airfield and establish cap over at the top of it. Still max fuel concern. Actual five four. Push button seven. Two. Good separation two. Two. I just get diddied up. Uh, Phoenix select. Phoenix select in the front. Air to air mode. Master arm is on. External lights are off. Fuel states 13.7. Meters are good. How's the uh, ECM if we need it? Uh, it's set to receive. Do you want me to turn the music on? Negative. Uh, let's just keep it at receive. Copy. Three, four, combat spread left. Uh, I stepped up. Three, four, combat spread left. Three. Jammer on the left hand side. Yep. Alright, I've got a uh, visual on two contacts. Four, go ahead, show on left. Uh, two contacts. Um, uh, Red friendly. Crown. That's just a bit of drift. Roger. Red Crown, happy 8 1. Got visual on two contacts moving across my nose. Uh, can you give me a uh, IFF on that? Uh, 
they're shrimp friendly, they're uh... Yeah, roger. Hey, we're at one. Bullseye 274, 7, 12,000. Track northeast, hostile. Phantom merged with friendly F-15, call sign Bashful 52, Angels 8. Copy that. Do you want me to, us to commit to help them out? Happy one, negative, hold position. Happy A1. I just get on point then. Roger. You still took to see those two airplanes over there at our 2 o'clock. Uh, I tried a visual ID on. Are they F 15s? Uh. Little Cornets to me. Roger. Doc 2 1, threat 2 tail, whatever. 2 0, 16, 30,000, hot, hostile, phantom. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to get some hostile data link there. Interesting, I can't see it. Click it. Three and four, you guys are a little far. Go ahead and tighten it up a bit. the good old F-10 map and did a ruler. My uh, alignment's definitely correct in the back. Roger. That's what I was doing before, but it did not look right. Doc 2-1, 27,000, beam, southeast, hostile, phantom. There he is. Try locking a guy, because I don't see anything on your radar scope. Uh, I'm just seeing data link. I'm not seeing anything on the radar scope, I'm just seeing Roger. data link. Okay. Uh, right. Let's close it up. The one thing I'm going to have to factor in is, uh... I wonder if I if I took the radar from you and put it in the PLM and then gave it back to you, I wonder if that would resync things. Maybe. You wanna try it? Yeah, I gotta go, to know. Alright, my radar for a sec. Okay. Alright, go through a couple modes here. And your radar. Get my radar back to Rangel Scan. The one concern is everything is showing at Angel Zero. Yeah. Visual. Look down for one. Doc two one, your target maneuver hot. Thanks for the airshow three. Red ground, target vanish. Sorry about that. All friendly to clear. Snow White one, flow three four zero, resume tasking. Break break, dot two one, flow three four zero, resume tasking. Happy eight flights established over Kassab. Happy eight. Anchor, Angels 31. Anchor, Angels 31. Oh, 31. We're pretty light. I think we can do it. Yeah, we should be able to. Going upstairs, guys. Going upstairs, guys. Three. Two. Red Crown, Snow White, one, one. Do you want us at a particular altitude? Ah, 
Snappy. Snow White, Red Crown, we're uh, deconflicting at the moment. Go ahead and just hold your current course. We will redirect you as necessary. Once we get to 31, let me know. I'm going to have to manually reset our altimeter. Roger. Red Crown, Snow White, 1 1. Can you get Angels 28? Not sure what happened to it there. Huh. Did you lose it? Well, no, it, no, the altimeter and the thing is saying we're currently Snow at Angels 1. 1, one. Uh, flight block Angels 2 6. So once we're at 31, I'll uh, manually plug it back in. Roger. Still got multiple nails, F4s and F16s. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, I've still got nothing on the radar display. I'm getting stuff on radar. There's some uh, weird wacky backy stuff. Yeah. Lots of traffic around us. Yep. Lots of traffic around us, guys. All appears friendly. Two. Four. Red Crown, happy 8-1 picture. He's going to hate me for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he totally will. Red Crown. Single group, bullseye, 329er, 114, 25,000, track, southeast, hostile, heavy, outlaw. Right, hold us wings level once we get to 31 now. Roger. Okay. Happy 8-1's established, Angels 31. There we go. Hey, I got it back. Beautiful. Good job, hey. dude. Or dudette, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> dudette? Rebcross, 56, anchor, over. Yeah, the issue was your radar was thinking it was currently on the deck. Yeah, Sorry about that, I've never had to restart an F-14 in mid-flight. Hey, it's uh, all good experience. Every day's a learning day in this thing. C-61, climb, maintain, Angels 30. I'm wondering if you should put the flaps down for max fuel conserve. Uh, we're at 12.6. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, I guess. Worst comes to it, we can do what we did last one, and uh, we land at our 9 o'clock there, and just hit sub for a drink. Yep. Red Crown, two groups. Group Bullseye, 337, 103, 25,000. Track East, Hostile, Heavy, Outlaw. Group Bullseye, 346, 144, 22,000. Track Southeast, Hostile, Heavy, Outlaw. Just hold a turn here. Yeah. Hopefully they actually come in. 
Red Crown. Is that uh, bandits coming from Ski Town? Slats down if you want to, just for a bit more lift. Alright, I put them down just a hair. I'm just worried about the induced drag is all. You are broadcasting on Red Crown, sir. Oops, no way. Red Crown, take it. Sorry about it. Bully that. Yeah, no. So Takes my autopilot off. Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Takes your autopilot off? Yeah. I forget, yeah, I have any tankers yeah. here. Negative, if you need to fuel up, it's gonna be Kassar about uh, uh, 10 o'clock there. Sneaky 6, Red Crown, safe fuel. What it might have been a nice idea is just have an S3B like circling well to the south, just like a little tanker. Yeah. KC-130 to make everything themselves. Control, they're really good. That's what they do. Yeah, they're pretty really good. Uh, Red Crown, low state 11.1. I've been going to their ETC lately. Red Crown. You guys don't need to worry about it. Uh, the dash one will just give you the orders. Red Crown, Group Bullseye, three five zero eighty nine twenty three thousand, track south, hostile heavy Phantom. I've got those nails. Yep, so do I. Two of them. Oh, the Phantom. At least two. They keep moving around, but that's the that's the F fourteen for you. Yep. Red Crown, Group Bullseye, 351, 85, 27,000, Hostile, Heavy, Phantom, Happy One, commit. Happy One committing on that ship. Happy Eight stepped on, say again. Happy Eight One's committing. Stealing my radio, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> Red Crown, I got excited, I'm sorry. Wall. You stole like my big call, I'm so excited. Go line of breast. Phantom. Line of breast and trail to Bullseye, the line of breast. Him out there. 66 miles. I've got Phoenix select. No way. Three, three, four, three, four, one, one, zero. Right. Right. Range 3. One has one locked off the nose. Range 60, Angel 17. Can you deselect them so that way we can potentially do a little sorting here? Happy 8, 
East Middle Group. 60 miles has a target. Uh, Happy 8 1, like it's got him sorted. Angels uh, 34. I'm gonna lock, right, I'm gonna lock one up now because yep. I don't trust our uh, desynced. Yeah, no, we're crown. Right. East Group, track southeast. Lock. Correction, track okay. southwest. Two, sort on the guy on the right hand side. Right. Range 44, loft, uh, and then I'll send off the rail when it, we're in range. Copy that. Hold it until 30 nautical miles. 30? Copy. Yep. One and two, if you could take the I'll give you the loft guys, uh, when you're ready. Because, uh, Copy that. Slightly worried about trespassing against two. Sam's here, but uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Oh, uh, we've only Let's just left down. friendly territory, so... East group, ready? track south. Two, are you sorted on the right-hand guy? Two is secured on the right hand side. Copy that. Two, go gate. Hostile, Phantom, Middle Group, separation three, thirty-five thousand. Hostile, Phantom, two, hostile, thirty miles. Bullseye, three, five, two, thirty miles, thirty-two thousand. Track south, hostile, Phantom. Two, we're gonna crank right. Two copies, cranking right. Not, not yet, not yet. Uh, go gate, go gate. Alright, loft three. Roger. Alright, coming down to 30. I'm going gate. Loft, loft, loft. Stand by. Fox three. One away. Three as usual. One, Fox three. Two, Fox three. Four seconds. Hold Got that it. lock for me. Holding it. Alright, let's shoot. Two, 20 degrees, nose down, right hand crank. Gimbal, 025. Pitbull. Two, on your left side, uh, 7 o'clock. Out of gate. 18 seconds, Pitbull. Two. Roger. Red Crown, middle group, maneuver, track southeast, break, break. Happy 8 1, threat lead group, bra 337 15, 35,000, flank southeast, hostile phantom. Roger that, Happy 8 1 is committed. 2, recommit. Clear to fire. Red Crown, middle group, split, azimuth. 37, triple. Copy 4, firing front target, uh, block. Want another Phoenix or a Spire? Spire. Phoenix. Phoenix, alright, select it. Lock the guy on the nose, lock the guy on the nose. Fox 3. Roger. Is that going, guy oh, on the nose? Sparrow, apparently. Alright. Sparrow, stand by. Right. Happy 8 3, target, lead, correction. Alright, my radar, my radar. Your radar, your radar. 23,000, hot, hostile, fan. Can you fire? I'll rip my second one off if you can. I got one, 10 o'clock left. Fox 3, Fox 3. Ten o'clock low, you said? Okay, I got one. Yeah, he's behind us somewhere. Ten high, ten high as well. There's a splash. Splash. I got one. Nine o'clock low. Nine o'clock low. Roger that. I got uh, on the nose high. Copy. My radar. My radar. Roger. 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 Fox two. Roger. Alright guys, watch out, you got uh, F-14s intermixed with F-4s here. No track, that, that's in the mid. Hold fire. Roger, holding fire. Splash. Splash. Splash confirmed. Block. Splash 1F4. Roger. See any others? Okay. Middle group vanished. Happy 83. Okay, Target. I got one. Trail group, Bra, 040, I think I, is that right now on our uh, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock Hostel, Phantom. Okay. Two, watch it. We got one at our nine o'clock. All right, my radar, you IFF him, okay? Radar, I'm going to identify the TV. Just when you've locked it, when you've locked it, do not fire. Roger there. Rocket first. Trying to try him. 
Okay, you got him on uh, TV. F4, 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 okay. F4, clear fire. Roger that, Fox 1. Fox 1, Fox 1. Didn't track. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Yep. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go on. Splash. Splash 1. I do that, thanks for the support too. Red Crown, one. Grand Slam, Happy 8, reset cap, bullseye. Happy reset 8 cap. one's resetting cap. Happy 8 one's got Wait, nails, uh, MiG 29's from uh, Paradise Atoll. Correlating. Uh, we're down to heaters. Yep, I got it. Two, one's down to heaters, you're gonna be the uh, shooter now, okay? Two copy, two shooter. Red ground, two groups, group bullseye, zero two one, one zero twelve, twenty five thousand, track, southeast, do you, want, do you want to hit Kassam and rearm, or? Bullseye, two seven uh, niner, one hundred four, try to find one in the so region. Track east, can literally heavy. Because uh, put yeah, the mags on, put right missiles now. on, and uh, take off. Yeah. We don't even have to fuel. Yeah, Roger. I'm, uh, ask Red Crown if that's what he wants us to do, because uh, I think that three uh, and four are sure still up, full up with missiles. So, uh, go ahead and ask Red Crown if he wants uh, the first element of our flight to be on. Yeah. 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 Uh, I could maybe switch back Red over Crown, to Ops Happy A, go Happy A, Red Crown, go. Uh, Happy A, we're requesting to rearm our first element of Kassab. Happy A, frequency change approved. Switch 4, contact Kassab Tower, see ya. Alright. Pushing Kassab Tower, Happy A. Uh, one for flight, we're gonna go ahead and react. Yeah, we're gonna heal it. Uh, we don't want you to come with us. Uh, you're welcome to. Snow White, uh, resume tasking. Dock 2, resume tasking. 3, following you in. Actually, negative, negative. 3, 4, maintain cap over Kassab since you guys are still full up. Red Crown, Dock 2, drop the bombs on target area. Uh, left way. Right, 1, 2, 4, 1, 7, 8 pounds at uh, scheduled waypoint. 2, 4, 8. Have that too, we're gonna do a Back high letdown. down. Switch button four, contact Sob Tower. Three, what's your fuel state? Thanks for support. Contact will Sob Tower. Alright, check out with Red Crown again, let him know that three and four are still gonna be on cap over the top. He's away, he's away. Four, he's away, I said it was Okay, roger. Alright, wanna switch us over to uh, control? Uh, Sob Tower, good morning. Eight one eight two. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 Visual for one nine, I have the A1. Two, are you with me? Two is at your distance, like, try not to run. Yeah, he's with us, I can see him. He's off, uh, okay. um, seven. 
Roger that, too. Uh, we're going to do a circle break over the end of the runway. Uh, sorry, over the shoreline here for a setup for a straight in. Two. You mind if I talk to ATC for a sec? Yep, go ahead. Kassab Tower, this is a happy 8 1. We're going to go for a uh, circle break over the shoreline. Happy 8 1, Roger, approved as requested. The surface went 6 degrees less than 5, and no traffic to affect. Roger that, thank you. Happy 8 1 Tower, uh, Altimeter. Happy 8 1, apologies, the QNH 2988. 2 in the break. 